Best game over here. Huh? Hmm? Damn. Hello everybody. Welcome to best game of all time. This is Pokemon Sword. Uh, this is what I look like. This is not really what I look like. My name is Explody. Hi, we're playing, uh, we're playing Pokemon Sword. I'm gonna tell you this right now. The new Pokemon games are coming out. At the time of recording, the new Pokemon games are coming out end of this week. So I decided instead of playing them, why not I play a game that everybody thinks is a terrible Pokemon game? And I'm going to do that right now. So thank you very much for tuning in. I have mixed feelings on this game. Those feelings will probably come out during this playthrough. And, you know, I haven't played the new Pokemon game yet, obviously, because it's not out yet. It will be out soon. But I'm, uh, I'm going to you know, watch this. So, already, beautiful lip-syncing with uh, the dialogue. You know, wonderful, wonderful uh, voice acting from this guy. Our beloved Galar region. It is a wonderful place with thriving nature, beautiful cities, and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, a society is able to thrive. Ooh. Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yep, Pokemon are all around us in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. Like he said, this this giant stadium full of people who already know what the fuck Pokemon is. Those of us who choose to train and raise Pokemon to do battle and compete. We call them Pokemon trainers. Imagine paying tickets, money is to, to go to the stadium, and the man's like, let me explain you what Pokemon is. Like, I fucking know. Like, imagine you want to see some ice hockey, and someone's like, we play ice hockey. We, we are the boys. They scare all the ice. You're like, I fucking know. I don't know. What are you doing? You know? I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it is a pleasure to be here. Turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's exhibition match. I think I picked the right voice for this guy. <laughs> Look at those shoes. The way that they definitely touch the grind right there. Beautiful stuff. Kacha. Nice victory pose from this guy. He means business. He knows what he's doing, you know. And who's this guy? Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end when I beat you. You know I don't lose battles, Rayhan. We have the same voice. Charizard Dynamax. That's the big gimmick for this game, is they turn into a big, big Pokemon. This is your regular Pokemon, but it's big. This one looks a little different, but main, some some of them change and look a little different, but most of them, it's just a big Pokemon. So this is Pokemon Sword, is that where it says right there. We're off to a good start, you know. We're optimistic. We're having a great time. Yeah, skip any of this shit. Do I have to watch it? Do I have to watch my, my friend skipping up the garden path? Are we really going to do this? There's a munchlax. There's a kitchen table. There's a lady who I assume is me. I'm. What am I reading a book? I'm playing a, 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 a PSP, it looks like. Hello, hello! Oh, that's your flashy phone exploding? Were you watching Lee's exhibition match, Jonas? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Oh, I thought he was going to do it. Hawk, oh, didn't expect to see you here today. Isn't this a big day? Yes, that's exactly why I came running over to get Explody. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it recorded at home anyway. I watch all of my brother's matches. Well, come with me, Explody. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. Alright, alright. Let's just get this show on the road. What do I need? A bag? 
You gotta get back. Can't go that way. I can go this way. I'm going this way. Hello. Rushing off in that state. Didn't have to say you should bring it back. I saw it in your room. I don't forget to grab my half of the weather. Tell me about the weather. This is this is my room. You grabbed your mom's old bag. I thought it was my bag. Wow, it looks super cool. I feel super cool. That's part of it, you know. Oh my, what am I to do with this hair? I feel like that every day. It's ridiculous. Oops, I didn't see that. It doesn't matter. Probably not important. I know how to play Pokemon. So, we're gonna play. Can I actually play the game now? Oh, but brush my skirt off. Look down the garden path again. Riveting stuff, isn't it? Great, great, great times, you know. Finally. Look, it's a little buddy. Bye. Well, stop playing the game already. Have a look at you, Exploded. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. Whatever that means. At least we know now that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. Ahaha, ha, a Snorlax wouldn't even fit in that bag. That was a joke. I'm hilarious. A woo-loo, but what's it doing there? It's fucking a bite, what it's doing. Look at this. Come on now. You silly Wooloo, I see what you're up to. Don't go easy tackle on the fencing. That's a gate. Fencing. Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering weald. Eh? No, that's... Now that, <laughs> no, that's the, you, you call that be taken care of? I don't think so. <laughs> Let's race, but I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging about that big old bag? Wow, I wonder who can get to my own house first. Me, the person who lives there, or you, the person who's never been there before in this context. Shocking. Shocking. Hello. The power of science is amazing. Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. Isn't that super amazing? I guess. This is his house. You can't go that way anyway. Look, you can't go this way because he's stupid cheap. You see... This game is full of these um, artificial roadblocks, which is one of the things I hate about this game. For the record, I don't hate this game. I just think it, it's kind of boring. It's not a, it, it's got some problems, right? It's a Pokemon game. It's still good, but there are some issues with it. And one of the issues I hate the most is the artificial roadblocks. That's really annoying to me. I also don't like the static way that the characters move. You'll, you'll see. So she stops and then she moves us like one step forward and then she stops again. And now she's moving. And now she stops. And now he does one movement which is left and right. And then he will stop. Like none of this seems very natural. It all seems really like um, wooden. And I don't like, like the way, the way he turns is he, he like steps his two feet around, right? Um, they, they, everybody moves in like a very unnatural way. Like this is fine, but people don't move like that. You see, they, they, they take a step around. Turn around. Yep. They don't like... You know what I mean? It's, it's really... Um, I don't like it. I don't like it. So he said to go to the train station. So we gotta go down there. There he is. Hello. Stop, we stopped again. Let's get a move on. I'm trying to get a fucking move on. I've got my wheelie with me. Okay, no, so we can't even go into the tall grass just yet. Perfect. Great stuff. And now I'm moving again. We've been playing for almost 10 minutes. And how much of that has actually been me playing? Why have we stopped? Let's go and meet Lee at the station. I'm trying. It's very strange. And another thing I don't like about this is like, look at, look at, look at this huge like area. You can't go in here. You can't go up there. You know what I mean? It's just, you go where this guy tells you to go. Can't go there because we don't have any Pokemon yet. Understandable, but like, wouldn't you love to just go to all those little, little, little doodads? But you can't. You're not allowed to. So, I guess I won't then. So this is a champion. And he has his charge out with him. He's going to do his pose. Yes, three. Sonic the Hedgehog three. The best one, but it's not. Sonic two is the best one. I think. Or Sonic CD, maybe. Or Sonic and Knuckles. Definitely not Sonic 3. Uh, champion is back. I'm gonna look after y'all. I'm gonna give you a big biscuit. Alright. 
Yes, yeah, where will you trade in? We're, we're playing Pokemon. I just want to play Pokemon. Is that too much to ask? You know what I mean? I just want to get in and like throw some balls around. Rub some dogs on the head. Pat them on the head. Can we get an all dog team? Should we do that? An all dog team? Would that be acceptable? I don't. Blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't care. None of these people are related to me. I've got it. You must be Explody. I've got a present for you. All right, so now we have to go back to this guy's house. Weren't we just at his house? We have to wait for this guy. Yay, congratulations. Charizard's like, I'm going to eat him. I'm going to eat that fucking guy. He's always telling me what to do. I want to fucking eat him. He left his Charizard behind him. What the fuck? Uh, that's some respect right there. Bullshit. You promised us a present. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and pick Pokemon that I haven't used before. And in my playthrough, I picked... In my The first time I played this, I picked the monkey. So I'm going to pick a different Pokemon. What I don't understand about this, by the way, is... This guy's going to give us three Pokemon. Fair enough, I understand that. But Hop already has a Pokemon, so why does he get to choose as well? You know what I mean? Why does this guy give us both? I don't understand. The story in this game is another thing I don't like either. I think it's really like... I think they were trying for something and they, did, they weren't even like... They didn't even get close to what they were trying to do. Frankly, you know. Um, but that's just me. I don't care. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Pretend that didn't happen. Nobody saw nothing, alright? All you saw was these three delicious Pokemon that we're going to eat. Who are we going to choose? Oh, there's so many beautiful ideas. I'm going to pick the, the bunny because I haven't picked the bunny before. I think that would be nice. A fire type would be pretty sweet. Uh, because I think the first gym is a grass gym. Yes, I would like this. That was another thing I didn't like about... Uh, oh, we gotta give it a nickname. It's a score bunny, so it should be called um, Cranberries, I think. I mean, that makes sense, right? A score bunny called Cranberries? Bum. Cranberries has been out of your body. <laughs> Bam. Oh, I wish he just punched him in the face. <laughs> that <would have> been... <laughs> this delightful little bunny rabbit jumps up towards your face. You just boomf, punch it. Knock it flying. <laughs> oh, I think that would be funny. Maybe it's just me. Woo, wiggity, wiggity. That's why I brought these Pokemon, so you can have a good time. Nobody wants this piece of shit, though, so I'll just uh, take him out the back and hit him with a hammer. Best thing for him. Then he won't have to go through a terribly lonely life. Well, the dinner's ready. Well, that's great. Let's eat some fucking dinner, then, instead of playing Pokemon, you know? This is the UK, and they're out there having a barbecue? I don't think so. I'm not buying it. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, can I catch Pokemon now? Can I play this damn game? The next day, you spent the night with uh, your partner. That's disgusting. Believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself, you'll also be able to catch Pokemon via the ability of catching. To catch a Pokemon, you're going to need a, 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 a Pokeballs. All right, so am I gonna win? Let's 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 finally let's finally fight. So we're almost fifteen minutes in, and we're going to skip a lot of dialogue and finally have a Pokemon fight. So, how long does it take to get into a Pokemon fight in Red and Blue? Fifteen minutes. All right, Cranberry, to be fried. A Pokemon ball that is dead, I've got two partners with me. His voice is going to change all the time. Just for my own amusement. Tackle and growl. I wonder what I'll do. 
I think I'll tackle. Wow, that was all right, dude. That was all right. Um, that's all right. That's not really going to do a whole lot of damage to me. So I mean, Wulu is like really not good. No, I, let me see if I can remember the Pokemon I used in my first playthrough. So we don't use them. I used the monkey. I used Weezing. I used the Hitmonlee I find. I used, um, oh, what do you call the water thing? The water turtle. I find one that was a shiny Pokemon, like t a two days into playing the game. So I used him just because he was a shiny. So like, why wouldn't I use a shiny, right? And uh, I don't remember who else, but I'll figure it out. Don't you feel like that they've, they've um, kind of tiered this up so that you will automatically learn the move you need to be able to beat your opponent by this first battle. Like for example, in red and blue, your opponent picks a Pokemon that's stronger than yours. And in the first battle, it doesn't matter because all you have is tackle. You just, it's like a war of attrition, right? But in this one, not only is your opponent deliberately, your rival deliberately pick the Pokemon that's weak to your Pokemon, but because he has a Pokemon out before it, the Wulu, you level up, you learn a move that is strong against his Pokemon, pretty much setting up 100% that you're going to win that first match. You know what I mean? It's very hand holy. I guess it shows very quickly. It shows you the how to how to how to play Pokemon. But at the same time, it does seem a little hand holy, and I feel like that's kind of an issue all the way through this game as well, which isn't really too much of an issue when you think about it, because these games are very accessible. These are like probably to date some of the more accessible Pokemon games. They're very user friendly. There's a lot of um, quality of life additions made to this game that make it very fun to play. Do you know, uh, oh, very easy for to pick up at least. You know, if you're new to the, the whole system, this this game will, will make it very easy for you. And I feel like that's maybe one of my issues as well, is that if you're really a Pokemon veteran, if you've stuck with this, this um, series for so long, Maybe Sword and Shield weren't quite the challenge you were hoping for. That's what I think, personally. I think that they're they're okay. I mean, they're Pokemon games at the end of the day. It's hard to screw the, the core mechanics of Pokemon up too much, right? And this game doesn't. The game keeps it pretty straight up. It's like, here's Pokemon. You do what you do with Pokemon. There's no real shake-up. It's the same as it is. But it's just a little bigger, a little bit more 3D, you know? But it's the same as this, what do you call them? What were the ones? The Sun and Moon? Pretty much, like, the graphics are better, but it's the same deal, you know? Really hasn't changed much at all. So I feel like this game's a little too... Maybe a little too accessible for anybody who is already very used to Pokemon. But again, like this is one of the, the biggest selling Pokemon games ever. So what do I know? You know? Will will um, Scarlet and Violet be better in terms of seals? Who knows? Who knows? So this is still more like farting around at the beginning. You wanted to start the game, but this 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 is like just more like showing off what the game's about. Don't go to the scary woods. It's too strong for you. Level two Pokemon, they're too strong for you. Remember he said this at the beginning? He said, watch out for the scary strong Pokemon in, in the woods. It's a level two bird. <laughs> level two bird. I'm supposed to be scared of a level two bird? I'm not. I'm not scared of it at all. No. Nope. Boy, nine experience from that level two bird. Lucky me. You know. If you've never played Sword and Shield before, you have to do this bit. You have to go through here um, to find a certain Pokemon, I guess. It's just kind of to show you the box legendary. 
You know he's on the front cover. Well, you're gonna... This is where he lives, right? Again, I'm not. these are not spoilers. These games came out in 2019. So, if you're that far behind and also you still haven't played them and you clicked on this video in 2022, I don't know what to tell you, dude. It's not my problem. So, again, instead of like actually getting to like the game, they're like, we're going to tell you the story of the game. And the story isn't like that fun to me. It's not that interesting. So we go into the spooky woods, which I think is a good setting. I like the idea of the spooky woods, right? And I do kind of like this bit. Because um, it's got a really interesting idea, which is you go into the spooky woods. It's really foggy who are we gonna find in the spooky foggy woods the box legendary there he is he's right there what the there's a dog lurard that's, that's what dogs that's the noise dogs make lurard so this is like a cool way to meet a legendary like straight off the bat you see you i i do kind of like this bit to be fair it's like wow this is no effect I wish that you could actually do something to it. It seems weird that this guy turns up and you, you can't actually, like, the fact that you can't do anything to it makes this bit seem a little pointless. Like, it, you know, is this a mirage? What's the point? What's going on here? I feel it'd be better if it did, like, damage, but, like, no damage to it. And it just, like, walked away because it didn't see you as a threat. And then later on, when you see it again, it understands that you're, like, a bigger deal and... Uh, that is more willing to engage with you, right? Instead of just this, where it seems like it's a mirage, like it's not even real. I don't know. Not digging it. Can't see anything. Good. That's what I want from a Pokemon game. Yeah, to not be able to see anything. So, we are 20, 20 minutes in. Over 20 minutes. And we've had one trainer battle. It's good stuff so far. Great stuff. I'm dead. That's the end of the game, folks. Oh no, I'm alive. Ooh, that was a close one. Oh, he poked me in the eye, he did. <laughs> oh, the best part about this is wonderful, wonderful British accents that I can do. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. Oh, white mate. Where's the Wooloo we were trying to rescue? Wooloo, it's right here, you stupid idiot. Charizard's eating it. Nom nom nom. This place is out of bounds because of all of the level two birds that are alive. At least the woo is all right. Yeah, what a what a what a close run thing that was. <sighs> yes, our moves didn't touch the scary dog. Are they illusions or something? I see. Like, I don't think they they like they showed that it was an illusion, but then later on it's not an illusion, and then also. The dog with, the dog in its regular form isn't as strong as the dog in its other form. So like, why would the not strong dog be the one that's showing illusions to people? I don't know. It's just not as, ah, I don't know. You did, oh God, I have to go talk to my fucking mother. Look at the, the I, like, everybody stops you all the time. You can't go this way, you can't go that way, you can't do this, you can't do that. I want to. I will say this about New Scarlet and Violet whenever it comes out. The one the one thing I do like about it is the open world aspect of it. I wish that the gyms would scale so you could technically tackle the gyms in any order you want. I like that better than making it seem like the gyms are in a specific order and you'll just find out by trial and error which one is the really hard to beat one. But at the same time, they give you the option to to check. You can go there if you want to. That's the idea anyway. But here, it's like you don't. Everything's very linear, and you, you do everything whenever the game tells you to do it. I think that's not fun. You know, it's very like, um, it's it's a handholdy stuff. What no? Jesus Christ. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know how to. <laughs> Pokemon Research Lab. Okay, I feel like we'll probably have to go there in this 
Now it is really here. Why can't I go this way? Can't wake them up. Why can't I wake them up? They're not supposed to be in the road. This is. Why do I have to? Like again, like why, why, why force me to go around that way? I could explore that myself. I had been there was a pokeball there that would entice me to go into the long grass and explore that myself. I don't need to be forced this way. The whole point of Pokemon is the exploration and finding Pokemon in the long grass, right? So why would I look at a big patch of long grass and go, I'm just gonna skip it. I'm gonna skip that part, but please, I want, I want more story. That's what I want. I want, I want more people to talk to me so that I can't play the game. That's what I want, you know? Um, I don't think anybody's ever said that. It's ridiculous. So let's get uh, let's get this let's get this over and done. Kick this squirrel in the teeth, and we'll get going. He's very hoppy, my little bunny. You would think cranberries would have learned quick attack before Ember. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. I feel like there's a little um, that it's kind of weirded so that you learn the super effective move quickly. That's what I think. And we all care what I think. Do I have Pokeballs? Um, I do. Do I want a fox? I don't know what the fox does. I think it's like a dark Pokemon. I don't know if the fox is going to be any good though. I could catch it. I could catch it. It's burned. It's about to die. Why don't we, we may as well catch, we gotta catch something in the first episode, right? Good job. What do we got? Oh, I think, I don't know if I'm gonna use the fox, but I'm going to catch the fox. Nick it. You see, because it's a thief. Very clever. They're very clever. I would like to give Nick it a nickname. Uh, well, obviously, we're going to call him Nigel because we're in the UK. And uh, Nigel the Nicket, that's his nickname. Simple. There is the, the level two bird, and there is some other stuff. I don't like the squirrel, I don't care much for the squirrel. I don't think we're gonna find a whole lot of stuff early on. I know there's better Pokemon later on, so I don't, I'm not interested in. A lot of this stuff right now. I want to get a good type coverage. And I know that, um, what do you call them? Hop's going to use one of those things, a Wooly. So, what I'm going to do is catch a fighting Pokemon at some point and use that. Alas, in my first playthrough of this, I used a Hitmonlee. Because you can catch Tyrog somewhere, so I might catch a Tyrog and see if I can evolve it into a Hitmonchop just for fun, or maybe a Hitmonchan just for something different, or maybe I'll find a different fighting Pokemon altogether. Maybe that's a good idea, you know. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, Nigel was only level four, and he learned beat up. Hey, hot damn, maybe Nigel's a good one. Maybe I should keep Nigel. All I Pokemon get nicknames, by the way. Even the ones I'm putting in the box. So, Widget I will not use. Widget is definitely going to the box. No need for Widget. Um, okay, so we explored the, the long grass. It was, it was riveting stuff. Oh, here's... He just left his Charizard here? Like, what the hell? Is this the train station? Can I go on the train? Once you have access to the wild area, mm, give me a train ticket. Welcome to the Pokemart. This is a train station. You don't even have any fucking Pokeballs. Be useless. Not interested. Oh, I can't walk through this tiny gap, huh? I'll just walk around this big fucking fire lizard. Oh, of course, I can't even go into the Pokemon Center because you're stopped from doing that too. Good gravy. I wanted to put my fucking Pokemon away. Alright, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap things up here. We're gonna go into this house at some point. Can I go into this house? Wow. What do you got to say? 
The rather ground building beside us is a Pokemon Research Lab. But if it's Professor Magnolia you're seeking, you'll find her at home. Then the forest and the route too. Uh, okay. Well, before we start all that crap, I think we're going to wrap it up here. What a terrible first episode. We caught some Pokemon that nobody cares about. And we didn't do a whole lot of stuff. Oh, they're all burned. <laughs> Great. Great stuff. We did a lot of talking. We saw a dog. All the classic stuff, you know. Great, great stuff. Um, I'll be back again soon. We're going to play this instead of playing Pokemon Sword. Um, what do you call it? Scarlet Violet. Because I figure on launch day, everybody's going to be playing Scarlet Violet. And I'm not going to. I'm going to be different by playing a game that's three years old. Oh yeah. So, thanks for watching this. If you're even watching this, I appreciate it, dude. And uh, I'll be back in the next episode. Make sure you tune in to subscribe, do all the whatever the fuck. I don't know. See you later. Thank you.